Today we are going to speak about high blood pressure, hypertension. Are they the same? Yes, they are the same. Greetings. I am Dr. Sandeep Prabhakar Burke. I am a consultant nephrologist and hypertension specialist in Mumbai at Prabhakar Burke Clinic. What is high blood pressure? What is hypertension? Normal blood pressure is present in every individual. In a healthy person, it is around 120 by 80. That is the force of the blood along the blood vessel wall. But when it is excessive and high, it is called as high blood pressure hypertension. There are two types of hypertension, primary hypertension and secondary hypertension. Primary hypertension is the commoner types. In this, the gradual onset is there after the age of 40. It is more due to the lifestyle changes, age and genetics. But then you may not come to find a cause about the hypertension, high blood pressure. In secondary hypertension, it is sudden in onset and may happen in younger individuals and rarely in the older individuals also. It may be because of various factors like adrenals or some cancer which is producing hormones like pheochromocyte. In this case, if you work up a person, investigate the person for the various types of hypertension, you may find the cause. And in secondary hypertension, if the cause is found which is treatable, then removing the cause can permanently cure the person of the high blood pressure. But this is a rarer case and the normal persons who have the hypertension which is primary, they do not have a cure and they need to take the medicines for lifelong. Causes of high blood pressure, causes of hypertension. The first and foremost is the genetic factors. We have persons who are having hypertension running in the families. So if the parents have hypertension, then the children when they grow up, they will also be prone to high blood pressure. The second part is the lifestyle diseases. Whenever you have a lack of exercise, uh, increased amount of intake of junk food, which is high in processed foods, salt and sugar, then hypertension comes up. Also, physical inactivity, not having enough exercise is a major factor which leads to hypertension. In fact, the treatment of hypertension is physical activity. The other factors which we know are the diseases in the body, which can be something like chronic kidney disease or adrenal diseases or fluid overload due to other causes. This leads to a higher blood pressure in the individuals which may require treatment. A major factor which is causing persons to develop hypertension is smoking and excessive alcohol intake. This needs to be stopped completely so that the blood pressure reduces. Symptoms and diagnosis of high blood pressure. Symptoms and diagnosis of hypertension. Usually, the hypertensive patients who are having high blood pressure have no symptoms at all. That is, they don't suffer any body problems. The BP may remain high for a long time before they develop other symptoms. The patient may have headache, blurring of vision, dizziness. Afterwards, if the blood pressure remains high for a long time, it can lead to target organ damage that can lead to heart attacks leading to chest pain, paralysis of the brain leading to weakness of the limbs or it can even lead to kidney damage, chronic kidney disease leading to swelling of the feet and high creatinine. The person may remain asymptomatic without any body problem for a very long time. That is why a routine health checkup, including blood pressure checkup, is needed in every person above the age of 40 years. Blood pressure measurement. It is usually done with a blood pressure machine, which can also be used at home. It is measured in millimeters of mercury and written as MMHG because HG is the symbol for mercury. Whenever you check the blood pressure, there are two values. The upper value is the systolic blood pressure, while the lower value is the diastolic blood pressure. Both needs to be controlled in a person. If they are high, then the doctor treats you with respective medicines. The diastolic blood pressure, if it is high, can lead to target organ damage, while the systolic blood pressure, if it is high, can lead to bleeding in the brain, intracranial bleed. The various medical societies which deal with hypertension guidelines have issued charts or nomograms which help the persons measuring their blood pressure to categorize their level of hypertension. A normal person has a blood pressure of around 120 by 80 as can be seen here. 
while those with a slightly high blood pressure 130 by 80 140 by 80 are into the lower categories of hypertension those above 150 by 90 come into the class 1 and class 2 hypertension while those who are having 160 180 blood pressure and the diastolic above 100 110 go into hypertensive crisis and urgencies emergencies and need the immediate attention of a doctor so if you are enjoying this knowledge please like share and subscribe to the video high blood pressure treatment options whenever you are having high blood pressure even if it is measured at home it is preferable for you to visit your doctor and get your blood pressure measured at the clinic also if the blood pressure is remaining high for more than three occasions then only the doctor will start treatment for you if the blood pressure is remaining very high the doctor may start the treatment immediately the doctor whenever they start treatment there are various classes of drugs which are given and one type of tablet when it is started the dose of it is increased and then only the second type of medicines would be added the commoner ones are the calcium channel blockers ace inhibitors arbs alpha channel blockers etc the person who is having high blood pressure and has been started on treatment should preferably measure their blood pressure at home and maintain a chart this can be done by the automatic blood pressure machines at home and if they are connected by wi-fi to the mobile applications then the reading is transmitted to the doctor's phone and the doctor can advise accordingly about change in medications if required how to lower blood pressure first and foremost do exercise reduce your weight walk briskly one hour in the morning one hour in the evening as possible reduce the salt intake sodium is something which increases the blood pressure so come down to around 2 grams of salt every day reduce excessive salt in the diet also manage stress meditation yoga being involved in some hobbies going for some small talk with your friends that is something which is important to reduce your stress use some stress buster mechanisms like balls which help you to relieve the stress how to lower your blood pressure naturally natural approach is to lower your blood pressure first and foremost let your doctor decide you don't take your own decisions about the blood pressure if the blood pressure is on the lower side not into a very severe hypertension then your doctor himself or herself will advise you to reduce your blood pressure naturally so that includes the diet modification that is the dash diet the mediterranean diet this is high in fruits and less in salt and has some protein intake also that reduces majority of the lifestyle diseases like diabetes hypertension obesity this is included in the dietitian chart given by the dietitian then we have the exercise yoga meditation reducing your stress by using stress buster machines meeting up with friends having hobbies this all reduces your blood pressure and your stress level the other factor is reducing and absolutely stopping your smoking and alcohol. That is something which is a major factor for persistence of high blood pressure and lifestyle diseases. The main factor about reducing blood pressure is staying active. You should go out for brisk walks one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening as possible. This reduces your blood pressure to a significant extent. In fact, doctors have said if you do the proper integration of the various natural remedies your blood pressure can go down up to 20 millimeters of mercury which is a very significant amount without using any medications so this is how you will reduce your blood pressure naturally health anxiety and high blood pressure type a personality is the person who is wanting everything immediately they do not have any moment to spare and they are angry on others. They are anxious that what will happen if I don't do this. So these type of persons are the ones who have to take meditation, yoga, natural therapies and lower your anger, lower your stress, use stress busters, meet up with friends, have a hobby, exercise regularly, walk in natural surroundings. So this reduces your blood pressure to a significant extent. Morning exercise for high blood pressure. Of course, lifestyle diseases are requiring lifestyle changes. So, walk around one hour but a brisk walk in the morning 
one hour in the evening if possible the fresh air natural surroundings these all will help you to relieve your stress and reduce your blood pressure also don't smoke while walking also see to it that your blood pressure is monitored regularly and you are seeing a gradual downward trend in your blood pressure measurements this all including yoga meditation swimming brisk walk is something which will help you to reduce your blood pressure up to 10 to 15 mm of mercury which may also be possible without medicines but under the direction of your doctor pulmonary hypertension many persons who are having a high blood pressure confuse the terms of hypertension and pulmonary hypertension actually it is a heart problem in which the heart is having an issue along with the lungs any lung disease will cause pressure on the heart and a heart disease can cause pressure on the lungs this leads to an increase in the psp that is the pulmonary arterial pressure the pulmonary arterial hypertension is measured by 2d echo measurements done by a cardiologist this gives us the measurement of the pasp psp that is the pulmonary arterial systolic pressure this is usually around less than 20 but in a person with pulmonary hypertension it may go above 40 50 etc and the persons who are having a high pulmonary hypertension they will be having shortness of breath and cough this is leading to a breathlessness inability to walk and having various episodes of breathing difficulty at night summarizing lifestyle diseases have lifestyle changes to be done modifications include exercise stopping smoking reducing alcohol modifying your diet taking medications as per the advice of the doctor and regularly monitoring your blood pressure so when was the last time you checked your own blood pressure kindly write in the comment section